peace and love beautiful beautiful ones let's go ahead let's dip off into this energy let's see how the energy is moving yeah let's see what's going on in the energy my beautiful ones let's talk about it let's see what's happening in the energy for my beautiful libras uh-huh this is you know whatever is going to come out for you all however tonight we'll tap into some more energy stay tuned stay tuned um definitely this wednesday we will go through our midweek report and really see how things are developing in the cosmos all right so yeah let's see what's going on right now in the ether so what's going on what's happening uh-huh okay wow somebody is pulling up with a cup Somebody has some emotion. Somebody could be thinking about, you know, I, I just heard confessions of the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Leave it. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. These want to come out. The Ten of Swords flew out, okay? And wow, a King of Wands is out here. A Queen of Cups is out here. And the Hierophant is here. Mm, wow, let's talk about it. Mm, chariot is the overall energy. We're going to see a lot of um, Cancerian energy pop out because the moon is currently in Cancer. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what's going on right now. All right. So this is a time for you to really nurture yourself in this energy. Uh-huh. Two of Pentacles is here. Ten of Wands is here. All right, and the temperance angel is here. So what I'm looking at, beautiful ones, I am looking at someone who is in the energy of wanting to offer, uh, extend some emotion, okay? Uh, that's what I'm looking at, okay? And it could be after some type of um, painful ending with the Ten of Swords being here. With a fire sign, uh, someone could have Leo in their chart and just be very passionate in the energy. This is about, you know, uh, someone who is feeling passion, passionate. And you have the energy of a queen of wands who is more so in their emotions. So this is giving me, you know, uh, a mixed energy. Okay, now flip and switch these energies, but... These are two different type of things that are driving someone, all right? Now, we have the Hierophant that's here. Mm-hmm. And this is a higher um, level of consciousness that I feel this energy has reached when it comes to this here Knight of Cups energy, right? And this Two of Pentacles is here letting you know that somebody's painful ending left them very imbalanced okay mm -hmm. left them very imbalanced in the energy and possibly with burdens that needed to be put down i feel like this king of wands energy definitely put down some burdens in this energy and some balance was restored okay our balance is being restored this could definitely be the spirit guides ancestors okay who are coming to support your person all right and she pulls up with the Queen of Cups above. So just know that there are earth angels that actually exist on this realm. Uh-huh. They exist on this realm. And I'm looking at, you know, just the energy, the fire, the passion between what is a King of Wands energy versus that sensitivity of water flowing, Pisces cancer scorpion energy with the queen of cups being out here so let's go ahead let's explore this energy uh-huh give me the knight of cups 
somebody wanting to, wow, that's a lot of energy, okay? Not taking all of that. <clears throat> but someone could feel blocked in this energy from offering a cup. I'm putting that back in. Just one, Spirit, just one. All right, here we go. Wow. Yeah, someone feels like they missed out on the opportunity when it comes. This missed, wow, what's that? Mm. Yeah, excuse me. Um, someone missed out on the opportunity of some sort, all right? And they're manifesting this energy back. They are, yeah. And someone wants to bring some emotion to the table. They could be in hermit mode watching. Let's see, give me the, give me the four of cups because that big boom that happened outside, that light, it means something, it means something. Why was this opportunity missed? I listen to everything that goes on in the universe because it always ties into my story, right? Mm -hmm. And to the stories I tell for you. Now, look, this is about someone wanting to win or even someone being noticed, okay? In this energy, somebody definitely wants a new beginning. Uh-huh. They want to win. Mm -hmm. Someone wants to try again is what I'm getting. Wow. Yeah. Page of Wands to the Four of Wands. Somebody definitely feels like, the, you know, um, give me the four. Give me the Six of Wands. Give me the Six of Wands. Six of Wands in this energy. These are peculiar cards, you know. It's like, you got to do more than just want to win. What's going on? All right, wow. I said, what's going on? And everything that's going on just popped out of my hand. And here's that card again. The six of, seven of wands. Somebody uh, blocking, okay? Mm-hmm. So, like I said, somebody wants to try again. The reason why they want to try again is because someone knows that they were blocked mm -hmm, the first time. Mm -hmm. They know that they were blocked. The nine of swords comes out. This is somebody realizing, okay, that, you know, basically things went down that brought a lot of stress, a lot of grief and anxiety to someone. And it had something to do with a family situation, altercation, a fight, disruption, competition, envy. The things that, you know, could lead somebody to go into some type of dark depression is what I'm getting. To be in their head, um, feeling imbalanced. Because they're not balanced after this here painful ending. Okay, so it's like this is an energy that carried out with someone, mm -hmm. and it didn't happen outwardly, it more so happened inwardly in someone's head as things took place on a physical level in a home setting. That's what I'm getting. Look, this is someone feeling blocked when it comes to you know the things that it is that they are looking to either present to you in a offering and an offering yeah because someone was definitely reckless in the energy we have this full in reverse somebody was foolish all right i split the deck when it came to their destiny the will of fortune give me the ten of swords there give me the ten of swords thank you Yeah, someone was indecisive, okay? Mm-hmm. Someone felt like they met someone very special to them is what I'm getting, okay? Somebody could have met their soulmate, a twin flame, a union, something divine in the energy because this is what the Four of Wands is, all right? It's Four of Wands energy. This is the energy of Aries, um, Venus energy. So, wow. Give me the two of swords. Why was the indecision here? Why? Okay. Oh, somebody. 
somebody was worried about their future, the Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune to the Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune to the Two of Swords, Wheel of Fortune to the Two of Swords, wow, yeah, somebody was worried about their future, uh-huh, and walking away from the past, mm-hmm, someone's... Someone was indecisive about walking away and leaving everything behind. Mm -hmm. They were trapped in their head about this here energy. Mm. Give me the king of wands. Wow. And then they went through a tower. Yeah. And then they had to go through a tower. Now we know a tower only goes on when someone is refusing to walk away. So I'm feeling like someone waited up to the last point to realize it was time to go. Uh-huh. That's what I'm getting. The high priestess is here. Mm-hmm. The high priestess is here. And it's like someone, they knew inwardly it was time, but they didn't want to give up with the nine of wands. This is someone still holding on to really things that hurt. Mm-hmm. The wounded hero, leaving someone out in the cold, uh, the sense of abandonment. This this triggered someone. This is someone's part of, uh, it's in their psyche. It's something that connects this person to feeling some type of way about this energy. It's as if someone was glutton to pain because of what it is they feared. And it's a king of cups. Wow. The Queen of Cups is right here. Mm, like I said, we're going to get a lot of Cancerian energy wanting to get their wishes fulfilled. Mm. I feel like, uh, and the truth had to come out. Something had to be exposed. But I feel like someone was holding on to a circumstance and a situation knowing that the time was up. But because of past uh, traumas and you know, not wanting to give up in the energy, it kept them in the energy of wanting to hold on until they finally put their swords down and felt defeated in the energy. The tower came. Yeah, the card of defeat is here. Five of swords is defeat. Give me the tower. Tell us more about the tower. I just broke that down, you know. Yeah, but let's go ahead and get a card for it. All right, there we go. Uh-huh, they're in hermit mode right now. Somebody's thinking about everything that's taking place during this tower, okay? And this is someone that doesn't want to give up. They don't want to give up. Give me the hermit. They don't want to give up when it comes to, I mean, this is your energy, okay? So let's talk about it. Hermit. Wow. Grief, loss, and regret. When it comes to a queen of wands energy, there's been a death, okay? Possible Aries energy. Beautiful ones, what I'm seeing is someone still in pain, hurting over something that was very toxic. This is how the, why the nine of wands keeps showing up. This is a wounded hero. This is someone used to saving everybody while they are drowning. Mm, yeah. And there's some spying going on. Even though it's a death that's been put to this energy, someone is still watching. Someone is still spying and caught up in their head about this. Now, look, if you're dealing with a water sign, which, you know, we're in this energy of cancer, but water signs maintain memory. It is very hard for water signs to let go of things, even if it's toxic. They sometimes will hold on to them until they can no longer hold on to them, until they leave this earth, just to be honest. And I'm speaking from dealing with a water sign. 
for years. Okay? Someone is in their head about real love now. Someone is thinking about really someone from the past and they're also thinking about it's like somebody knows something is better for them but they're still dwelling in the past why is the five of cups here which is cancer energy Scorpio Pisces right Wow, wow, wow. Whole lot of water showing up. Nine of cups. Somebody wanting their wishes fulfilled. And then the chariot flips over. Cancer energy. Mm. We heavy in this energy. I just need one card, Spirit, for the five of cups. I feel like someone is grieving over an ex situation. So Libra. Give them all the time they need in the world to heal. Mm, wow. And the devil shoots out when I say that. I mean, the spirit trying to tell, tell me something. <laughs> <laughs> the queen of swords is here yes yes you know look boundaries baby boundaries the devil shoots out look the reason why this five of cups is here is because your person is angry they're mad you don't want to live your life like that so you put these boundaries up overall energy okay Someone in your energy is holding on to pain that you did not cause. Split the deck, the lovers. Who they chose caused this. Who they chose has nothing to do with you. Mm. Wow. Give me the Queen of Cups. You're in the Queen of Cups energy. You're compassionate to this energy, your understanding of this energy, this King of Wands energy, this Leo energy, okay? Could be Sagittarius, could be Aries, okay? This is a fire sign energy. Somebody who's very passionate, but right now they're angry and you didn't put this pain on anyone, but someone is trying to deal with pain and they're bringing you into the energy because actuality exists that they know the difference between pain and what love feels like. This person could live at a distance from you. Doesn't have to be. I spit the deck. There's a queen of wands as here, okay? And they were given to this energy but I'm being told that they were being breadcrumbed. Yeah, it's like someone was so used to giving to, a, this King of Wands was so used to giving to someone, okay? Working hard for someone in the energy. And how did that play out? The Nine of Wands, you can't make this energy up. A wounded hero. Somebody giving to something that hurts because it's what they're used to doing. They're used to operating from a wounded place. Wow. Mm. Let's talk about it. Give me the Queen of Cups. Now, this is someone wanting to rush towards something that they know feels good, okay? Something that they know is pure and real. Someone from the past. This would be you, a Queen of Cups energy, because you were nurturing to this energy. Now, someone wants to return to you out of wanting to be nurtured. 
wanting to be really assertive about it, <laughs> wanting some justice, uh-huh, wanting some justice, or even wanting to balance some things out, because someone chose pain over pleasure, mm-hmm, or even over love. Don't do it to yourself, Libra. Give me the Hierophant. Why? Wow. Right away. Somebody's healing. Somebody's trying to heal in this energy. Mm-hmm. And they're keeping hope and faith when it comes to this energy, okay? Someone could be tapping into their spirituality. Uh, give me the Two of Wands. Wow. High Priestess flips over. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody doing a whole lot of thinking thoughts in their head, holding these thoughts in. This spear is the moon. These are the crescents of the moon for the high priestess's hat. This represents the moon cycle. Someone is in their head with cycle thoughts of what I'm getting is everything that they're thinking is not being expressed. It's being held. It's being held. So, wow. Just never know how dramatic these reads are going to be. But yeah, it is what it is. Give me the star and the symmetry. Wow. The chariot, Cancer is here. Somebody is moving forward. Somebody is trying to heal and move forward. They're healing so that they can move forward. Cancer energy. They close the cycle. They close the cycle. Mm -hmm. But something is still not balanced. Why is the two of pentacles here? Someone could be taking a trip soon. With the chariot coming out and the airplane flying so loudly over my head, someone could definitely be taking a trip soon to balance something out with a nine of pentacles energy. Someone self-sufficient, single. They've been thinking about this here a whole lot lately. They're not seeing anything there in high priest energy. Mm -hmm. More water, Pisces. Someone could have Virgo. Give me this Ten of Wands. Somebody had to put some burdens down, but they're still mad about it. They're still mad about it. Mm. Mm, yeah, they're mad about this here Queen of Pentacles who's stalking them. Who mm -hmm. could possibly be stalking you as well? Because they were the burden that had to get put down. Somebody's baby mama, wife, uh-huh. Look, secrets, the moon, cancer energy, uh-huh. Pisces energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. When it comes to the lovers, yeah. Somebody had to put that burden down and they watching and stalking. This is the energy that this person will come with. Mm-hmm. Tell us about the Queen of Pentacles. She was a burden, okay? Uh -huh. Somebody realizes, you know, what type of burden. Tell us more. Wow. Lover keeps, it just keeps saying, you know, it's a choice that they made. And, you know, we live and we learn, right? But how long do you hold on to hurt? Mmm. Before you choose an empress. Before the balance comes, Libra, just. An empress is a karma of a queen of pentacles. Mm. Somebody wants to balance something out. They want to heal something. Temperance angel, Sagittarius energy. Lots of fire going on. Let's talk about it. Mm. King of Swords, Mr. Cutoff. Let's talk about it. Give me the temperance angel. Somebody wants to speak the truth. That's the only way to heal something. Because they've been in their head about this. Mm-hmm. Seven of Cups. 
They want to expand. This is someone manifesting in the energy. And they want to create a balance. They want to bring balance. Reciprocity, six of pentacles. They want to work on something, eight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. And they want to bring something fair and just to the table for the Libra's energy. Beautiful Libras, this is your read. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. Peace and love. See you in the energy tonight. Bye-bye.